Hey guys, it's John. This is another Lost Ark video talking about farming collectibles. The region we're talking about is West Laterra, and the collectibles we're talking about are these collectibles here in the Adventure Tome. We're not talking about the Island Hearts and Rococos and all that. So, uh, just real fast, explaining the farming collectibles to people who don't know, maybe you haven't watched my other videos. Uh, pretty much collectibles can drop from any monster in the zone. Normal monsters, uh, named monsters, which are the ones with the orange border around them, and then also elites, which are the ones with the horned icon on your minimap. Um, the deal is that elites have a higher chance of dropping, or I'm sorry, named monsters, the ones with the orange border, have a higher chance of dropping the collectibles than normal monsters do. I used to think that the elite monsters had a higher chance also the horned icons on your map um but i'm not sure now i've killed a lot of them i've done a lot of these videos and i kind of feel like the elite monsters have like the same drop rate as a normal monster i'm not sure that's just like my intuition telling me that um for sure i can say that named monsters again the ones with the orange board around them they definitely have a higher drop rate of dropping collectibles than normal monsters um, so yeah, keep that in mind. That's the meta. Pretty much, if you're farming these things, you want to be targeting named monsters, the ones with the orange border. And then also, if you're lazy, or you got money, or you don't want to spend your time farming, you can always come to the market over here on the left side, Adventure Tome, and you can buy all of these Adventure Tome stuff for money. And like I said before, as time goes on, a lot of these Adventure Tome stuff are getting way cheaper. So uh, it's really like only the later zones, like Punica, Fate, and Yorn, and all them that they're more expensive, but the beginner zones, they're like dirt cheap, <clears throat> mostly because there's a ton of bots that are farming this stuff and uh, saturating the market. But uh, yeah, so if you don't want to spend the time farming, you can always just buy them on the market. But if you want the satisfaction of farming these things yourself, well, that's what this video is for. Okay, so the first spot I'm going to show you is over here in Battlebound Plains. Uh, it's pretty much this central area right here. In particular, the spot we're looking at is the central area. There's one named mob right here, and then there's another one right here. Um, there also is a lot of good mob density in these bottom areas, like right here, right here, and right here. So if you the mobs are taking too long to spawn, you can also come down here and kill the regular normal mobs, because there's a pretty good amount of them. Um, I think this might be the best spot in Battlebound Plains, or uh, the whole zone of West Lutera. I'm not sure. There's another spot that I'm going to show you after this that I think is pretty good too. Um, but I would say this is a pretty good spot. So yeah, you can come down here, kill this guy, and then you can just run over and kill this guy. Um, I feel like the respawn rates are a lot longer. I guess they said in that patch from like a week or two ago that they, I think they nerfed. They said they nerfed a lot of the early game gold gain. Look at that. I just got two. That's really lucky. Um, they said they nerfed a lot of the early gold game for the bots because they didn't want them to be farming, I guess. So I think they increased the spawn rates of a lot of these named mobs. But still, I think this is a good spot. And like I said, if it's taking too long, you can run down and farm these other areas and just kill the normal mobs. Because, you know, the collectibles can still drop from normal mobs. Don't underestimate, you know, normal mobs. Okay, so here we are at the second place that I wanted to show you. It's in Medric Monastery. It's this bottom area right here. We got one named mob here, another named mob right here, and then there's also an elite that spawns kind of in the middle. So you can run back and forth and just kill the bandit guys that are right here. Um, there also is some elites, or named mobs rather, that spawn up here. They're kind of far apart. There's like one right here and one right here, so you have to run back and forth. I think this is probably the better spot. So this is the other spot I was telling you about um, compared to the previous zone. I kind of feel like it's between this spot and then that previous spot I showed you in uh, Battleborn Plains. So you come over here, you kill this dude. And then you come over here and you kill this guy up on the west side. You can pretty much just go back and forth. Or if you want to, there's a bunch of bandits like in this whole area right here. So you can just, you know, kind of go in a circle or whatever while you're waiting for the respawn. Um, so I don't really know which one's the better spot, whether it's this one or the one in Battlebound. They're both, you know, I think kind of good. It just depends. Uh, you know, personal preference. Okay, and then the last area we're going to show you is over here in Bilberin Forest. It's particularly this top part, the Red Hand Garrison. We have, uh, there's like about six named guys here. There's one right here, there's one right here, there's another one right here, there's one right here, one right here, and then I believe another one right here. So you can kind of like go in an arc, killing these three, or if you want, you could go down here and kill these three. That's kind of far, so you should probably, you should probably maybe just kill those two. Um, yeah, this is probably like a second tier spot, although there is more elites here than the other zones. Um, still, I kind of feel like this is a second tier spot. 
uh, compared to the other, because the other places are a lot closer. So you don't have to walk as far. And then you can just come down here and grab the third guy. Uh, like I said earlier in the video, I feel like they did nerf the respawn rates, or maybe that's how it always was. I don't know. Uh, I didn't do this zone early on in release, so maybe it's still the same spawn rates. I don't know. And then lastly, uh, you could probably do Brilliant Ridge if you want to do a dungeon, or maybe the farming spots were all taken. Uh, you could do Brilliant Ridge. For some reason, I can't click on it. I don't know why it's bugged out. Usually, you can click on maps of dungeons, but it won't let me. Uh, Brilliant Ridge is pretty good because it actually has a pretty decent amount of named mobs throughout the dungeon. And it has it has a decent amount of mob density. There's just a lot of walking because you have to walk to like one checkpoint, kill all the guys, and then do another checkpoint. It's kind of annoying. Um, so you really shouldn't do the dungeons unless you want to. Uh, you should really just stick to farming these areas, like the particular spots I showed you, Battlebound and then Medric over here in the corner. Um, also, I made maps for all the zones. I'm pretty sure I found all the name mobs for sure. I don't know if I found all the elites. It's probably missing a couple elites. But for sure, I found all the name mobs. So yeah, please use the maps. I'm going to put them in the description, like always, if you see my other videos. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. That's it for the video. I hope you find all your collectibles and you farm them all if you want to farm them. And if you don't want to farm them, then just buy them on the market. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See ya.